So, um, y'all know what's weird? It's like when, like, you're a social person, but you don't like talking about yourself, in a sense. Like, you kind of want to just skip the getting to know people phase and just, like, you're automatically friends. Like, I'm at that place. I hate having to answer questions. Like, uh, where were you born and raised? Uh, where was I born and raised? Right, okay. So, I was born in Texas. I'm a military brat. My dad was in the army. Um, I was raised in Durham, North Carolina. What else you got for me? What are your favorite hobbies? Favorite hobbies, okay. Um, I love looking at abstract art and. You love the sound of trains? <laughs> uh, honestly, no. Um, even though, like, from my old house, like, you could hear the trains all the time. Um, sound not like that one? What are your favorite hobbies? Favorite hobbies. Okay, so um, I love looking at abstract art. I like going to um, museums and art galleries. Um, I love poetry. It's like a secret love of mine. Um, I love reading. And um, I do love dancing. I used to dance for a while. I miss dancing. Um, Yeah. What's your favorite kind of music? My favorite kind of music would be R&B and soul. That'd be my my choice out of everything in the world. But I'll listen to anything except for like that death metal screeching, whatever the hell they call it. <laughs> yeah, all that crazy shit. <laughs> I listen to anything minus that. Um, yeah. So who's your favorite artist? Okay, so, uh, favorite male R&B artist? Okay, I don't have, like, just one, so I'm just going to name, like, a group of them, and if I forget any of them, then, I'm sorry. Okay, so, Chris Brown, Tank, Genuine, Tyrese, um... Music Soul Child, um, John Legend, um, Jaheen, Black Street, um, Jagged Edge, this is that big off the top of my head, my guys, so women, I would say. Monica, Brandy, Fantasia, um, Jasmine Sullivan, um, Jill Scott, and Price, um, Lauren Hill, um, oh man, uh, probably gonna jack up her name, but Marsha Ambrosia, um, uh, those Marsha Ambrosius. What about Marty. that good old Jin Jin? Um, Jennifer Hudson? Yes, yeah, Jennifer I listen Hudson. to her. She holler a lot. Though. I mean, a lot of them holler a lot. But she holler like Um, I like Beyonce. I'm not no crazy Beyonce fan. I do like her. Um, yeah. Those, those so what is your favorite movies? Favorite movies. Okay. Don't like romantic movies. Uh, um, they are so cliche. Um, everybody's like all happy go lucky come the end of the fucking movie. Like you can tell when it's gonna happen. Um, but I would say favorite. I love action movies. So uh, 
Pirates of the Caribbean series, Transformers, uh, Men in Black, Bad Boys. Um, I look, I like horror movies too. They're like really gory movies, like Saw, uh, uh, Final Destination. I like all the weird movies. Um. Creed was really good. Like um, yeah, those are, those are probably be the main like adult ones. Now, I am a like massive Disney fan. Like I'm anything Disney, like the old Disney though, like not the, not the new Disney. Shit. Old Disney, love all the old Disney movies, nineties baby. Um, and what about your favorite books? Favorite books. Uh, Copper Sun by Sharon Draper. Um, I know why the cage bird sings by Maya Angelou. Uh, I cannot think of her name, but the book is called Dancing on the Edge of the Roof. Oh, Sheila Williams. Um, anything by Stephen King. Um, any Zane book, Guilty Pleasure. Um, so, what's your favorite food? My favorite food. But it has to be like meat lovers pizza or pepperoni pizza or like some variation of a meat lovers pizza. It has to be. Like just absolutely has to be. I'm not going to eat anything with vegetables on it or anything like that. Just meat and cheese pizza. Okay? But outside of that, I like pasta. I like Italian food. Um, and burrito. And soup. Oh, yeah, I do like soup. But they potato soup, and I'm real picky. What are three things you cannot live without? Three things that I can't live without. Uh. Okay, um, this is gonna sound, <laughs> this is gonna sound like really weird and slightly kiddish, but like apple juice. <laughs> I need my apple juice. Um, oh, man. This is hard. Um, love. I can't say that. That could be friend love, family love, partner love, all of that. I can't think of a third thing. I'm going to say apple juice and love. Love can bring in a whole lot of different things. Um, so, what made you start your business? Made me start my business. Um, I've always had a job. Like, I've always been working for somebody, even since I was, like, a kid. My dad had me help him with his business uh, when he was working on computers and stuff. And I think I started working at, like, well, I think, and from there I had always been working under somebody, doing what somebody else wanted me to do, um, and I think by the time I already graduated from high school, um, it was more apparent that I didn't like to listen to other people, um, I'm very stubborn and stuck in my way sometimes, so 
having to listen to someone tell you that you have to do something every single day, all day, over and over again, it starts to like wear you out. And I'm a creative person too, so I don't um, like to feel like I'm trapped in a box. Um, and I like to do too many different things, so there's no way that that was going to work. Um, so I kind of put all of my creativity in the one bucket and just decided just to work for myself. Um, I did it freelancing for like three, four years and um, it just didn't seem like enough. Uh, one job that I had, I was working um, for a hospital and going to work every day it was like sucking the life out of me like I didn't know I didn't know why I was there after a while I would just pull up to work I wouldn't care about my parents I didn't care if I was early late lunch break no lunch break I just didn't care anymore and um after I just felt like I wasn't being appreciated for the amount of work that I was putting in I decided just to quit um that was probably the first time I really took like a major risk ever. Like just up and leaving consistent, reliable income. Um, but I felt so free and I had the space, I had the time, I had honestly the energy to focus on myself and on my business and what I really wanted to do. Um, so now I'm at a place where I have all of those things and it feels amazing. Um, I've recently kind of narrowed down my focus for my business. Um, that's made things a lot easier. Um, what are your dreams or goals? I'm not going to say my small ones. Like, oh, I was going to say that's my big pictures. So I've always had um, this dream of owning like this big skyscraper building. It's a big glass building with my name on the side of it. Um, I really want to open my own art gallery. And I foresee that being inside this massive skyscraper. I don't know where this is going to be at, but it's going to happen. Um, so yeah, I want to open an art gallery. Um, I would love to open a school. Um, yeah, those are the main ones. The rest of them are out. What are three things that people would never know about you? Three things that people would never know about me. Um, I am secretly shy. Um, I know in my line of work that is like the complete opposite of what my personality should be. Uh, but I am actually a very shy person. Um, I've already said that I'm like obsessed with Disney, so that doesn't care. Uh, oh, I am heavily addicted to Starbucks. Like heavily. Like, uh, when y'all get a chance, go to the nearest Starbucks. Get an iced venti soy chai and yeah, an iced venti soy chai with seven pumps of vanilla, whipped cream, and cinnamon dulce toppings. It's gonna change your damn life. Um, so yes, I'm heavily addicted to that drink and that drink only at Starbucks. Um, the last one.
Apparently you love trains. I think your camera's running hot. You hear me? You hear me? I said I think your camera's running hot. It's counting down. It's got a thermometer beside it. It's on nine seconds. Oh. Um. Uh, the last thing I am clumsy as shit. I trip over my own feet. 